We're going to take a look at the stick song. Uh, fooling yourself, we're going to use drop D tuning. Low E is going down to a D. And the intro is just um, a couple of um, uh, chords, a D chord and a G chord. The ways you can grab those, what I see Tommy Shaw doing live, is 7th fret G, 10th fret B, and E, all six strings. For the G position, 2nd fret A, 3rd fret B and E, muting the low E string. Those two grips. You can also substitute uh, this for your D. 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, 5th fret E, or even this, just five strings, a traditional D chord without the high E string. Well, real drony chords with no third, just roots and fifths, so all Ds and As, which is what we get with all three of these positions. Again, we have this G chord, you could also use this G chord, 3rd fret E and B, 5th fret low E. So I'm going to use all of those in the intro and talk you through how many hits, and then we'll move on through the rest of the song. I'm going to hit this D four times to begin with. Keyboard's playing. Two more. Then we're going to hit the G for four. Back to the D for two. Here's the other voicing. Back to the G for four.
fret with the B string only. Back to this G grip that we've already played. Is 
sets of threes, is the way I think about it. Seven, eight, and nine. E, B, and G. Fifth fret E. Fifth fret, or seventh fret, G and B. And then down to two. Third, or second fret E. Third fret B. Fourth fret G. Open G, first fret B, open E to this fret, fifth fret D, four G, three B. These that we've gotten before, third fret D, G, and B, fifth fret D, G, and B, and then uh, this is sixth fret B, seven G. 8D and up two frets. So all that together is then for the next part.